हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is about the product bulk editor for WooCommerce plugin in which I will demonstrate the working of the plugin. Before starting with the setup part, let me give you a short introduction to the product. If a WooCommerce merchant wants to make any changes to the product, it becomes quite difficult to do the changes in bulk and it's a very time consuming process to make the edits for all the products related to product fields like SKU, title, price and much more. To knock out this time taking problem the product bulk editor for WooCommerce plugin will assist you to edit the products in bulk in just one click and also view the products based on different filters applied by the admin What is product bulk editor for WooCommerce Product bulk editor for WooCommerce is a plugin that helps the WooCommerce merchants to edit the products in bulk including the title SKU product price and much more with just one click thus saving the time of the store owners in editing the multiple products so this was all about the intro part now let us see what are the advantages of the plugin with product bulk editor for woocommerce plugin the woocommerce merchant can easily edit the title product price regular price sales price and many other fields that are related to the product moreover enhanced search filter is provided to filter out the product based on your search easily the admin can also decide or change the product price of the multiple products simultaneously the woocommerce merchant can edit the multiple products at the same time moreover the admin can also add the custom fields which he can add and edit the custom fields of the selected product This was all about the products overview and advantages now it's time to see its setup and working part let's understand how to start working with the plugin we are on the wordpress dashboard so let us first see how we can install the plugin so for installing the plugin you have to hover on plugins and click on add new and here you have to click on upload plugin and you can choose the zip file that you have got so after selecting the zip file you have to click on install now and once the plugin has been installed so you can easily click on activate now so the plugin will be installed so this was all about the installation part so now let us see the back end settings of product bulk editor for woocommerce plugin so let's click on this we are on the back end settings of product bulk editor for woocommerce plugin and here we have also added documentation link in case you face any issues regarding the plugin setup and installation part so you can go through the documentation so here you can see the overview section installation part and how you can set up the plugin so you can go through the documentation and if you face any queries regarding the plugin functionalities or if you have any issues regarding the plugin so you you can reach out to us by clicking on this support button next here as you can see that there are overview tab or enable fields tab product filter settings tab and custom field settings tab and system status so firstly i am going to explain you about the enable fields so the enable fields tab is provided so that the admin or woocommerce merchant can choose or decide which fields of the product he wants to choose to edit be it be slug title download limit menu order virtual or any of the uh, fields that are provided here so he can uh, choose that fields to edit for that products so admin will be provided with full access to choose the fields he wants to edit like without uh, selecting the field the admin cannot edit the field of the product like here the admin is mandated to select any of the fields that he want to edit like here let me select the title and click on enable fields and now let's go to uh, product filter setting that is this and here when you will click on like bulk click on bulk edit so here it is uh, giving the disclaimer as please select one or more product for bulk edit so for doing the bulk edit you have to select at least one or one or more product for doing the bulk editing like let me select this like if we select this and click on bulk edit so here as you can see that in the general bulk editing uh, in the general tab only title is coming uh, for the bulk editing rest for the category tags attribute pricing shipping stock 
type and custom field no options are coming because from here we have only uh, enable the fields of title to edit so let us select uh, let us select more uh, like enabled fields like slug product gallery regular price categories weight sku width and here height stock quantity and let me click on enable fields and here let us refresh this and here uh, let us click on this and click on bulk edit so as you can see that whatever fields that we have selected to edit in the bulk editing section so it's coming here like uh, sku slug and in the category tax attribute categories is coming and for pricing regular price is coming and and same for stock stock quantity is coming and type for product gallery it is coming here and custom field we have not selected so it's not coming here so here in the bulk editing section the admin will get the easy access to change the title uh, or sku or slug like here we have provided like set new or append or uh, prepend so here you can uh, select any of these like set new like i'm selecting here set new and here if i want to change the name to uh, like wordpress pennant to the wordpress pennant and when i will uh, like uh, this update so here it will change uh, that particular name to as you can see that the name has changed uh, to the wordpress pennant so this is how the admin can do the bulk edit changes for the product be it be title sku weight regular price sales price uh, he can select any of this uh, he can select any of them like here let me select this and here if you want to like uh, select uh, uh, category tax attribute so here you can select the set new and here you can type like clothing decor music or an uncategorized so you can uh, select any of the categories that you want to put that product into and same goes for pricing uh, you can change the regular price or shipping so whatever you want to uh, changes you want to make so here you can go and here you can enable that particular fields you can go to the uh, product uh, product fil product filter settings and here you can select that particular products that you want to uh, edit in bulk like if you want to select like one two three and four here you want to change like uh, if you if you want like uh, change the regular price so here you can select uh, for like uh, if you want to change uh, the regular price of five products like here one two three four and let me select here like five so here you can go to bulk edit section and simply you can go to pricing and here you can change set new or if you want to increase by percentage or decrease by percentage or increase by value or decrease by value so here you can easily do it so this is how product bulk editor for woocommerce can be a great fit for your woocommerce store if you want to change uh, if you want to change or if you want to edit the product in bulk and if you want to save your time so this was all about the enabling the fields and how you can uh, bulk edit the product in just one go. Now let us see uh, this filter settings. With filter functionality, it will help the admin to filter the product based on different criteria. Uh, here you can see that uh, here are different types of filter like title, description, SKU, weight, regular price, shipping class, product type, tax and post per page so like here uh, if i will apply like filter like title so here i can select like contains not contains starts with ends with and regular expression so if i will type uh, starts with and i will type uh, uh, b and when i will click on apply filter so all the uh, all the products starting with b will appear here like as you can see that beanie with logo belt beanie with new logo so this is how the admin can apply the filter uh, to filter out the product based on different filters like title description or if uh, like if you want to reset the filter so here the admin can click on this so the filter will be reset so as you can see that the filter has been reset and if the admin wants to uh, apply the filter based on categories like if i will select clothing and if i will select on apply filter so all the products related to ca categories of clothing will uh, will be uh, visible here like as you can see that all the products uh, uh, related to categories of clothing will be appear will appear here so this is how 
the admin uh, the admin can uh, apply the filter uh, based on different uh, like title description categories and stock status so the admin can also choose the stock status like in stock out of stock or on back order so this is how the admin can select different stock status to filter out the product next uh, here the admin can also decide the post per page here like uh, for now it is uh, like first let me click on reset filter so here uh, you will be able to see like uh, here a uh, post per page so if i will click on like uh, 12 and let me click on apply filter so here it will show like 12 as you can see that so uh, you can also decide post per page based on your requirements like if you want to select like 16 13 whatever uh, are your requirements so you can choose post per page so if you have like a lot of products and if you want to see at once so here you can decide the post per page accordingly so let me click on apply filter next if we come to like uh, deleting the product so here the admin will get the authority to directly delete the product uh, whichever he wants like he want to delete the product so he can select on this and he can click on delete product so the product will be deleted next hide or show column so here uh, when i will click on this like hide or show column so here all the ticked, ticked columns are hidden as you can see that here so if you want to show like uh, image and uh, let me select one more uh, status and let me click on this hide or show so here uh, status and image will be also shown here like as you can see that here image is coming and here status of that is coming like publish so here uh, you can hide or show the columns here uh, in order to view whatever you want to uh, see for that particular product like if you want to see manage stock stock quantity height width so here you can select like uh, image price so here you can select this so from this hide or show column you can untick that particular fields that you want to see for for all the products like image price catalog visibility tax shipping class whatever fields that you want in this particular table so here you can select untick that uh, field in this hide or show column so that particular field will appear here like it is showing for image sq status stock status so this is how you can uh, use hide and show column to show the fields for that particular product so uh, i have explained you about uh, how to apply the filter and how to bulk edit the products and how to delete the product and resetting the filter hide and show column and one more uh, functionality is there for export product so if you want to export the product like if you want to ex export for one product so simply you can click on this and the product will be exported next if you want to export the products in bulk so simply you can click like this or if you want to uh, export the whole of the product so you can click on this and click on export products so all the products will be exported in the csv format so this was all about the product filter settings and one thing more if you want to hide the filters so simply you can click on this so the filters will be hidden and only table will be shown so this is how hide uh, show filter works next let us go to custom field settings to uh, like here enter the custom fields uh, or whatever the custom meta key that he has uh, created with the help of plugins or whatever the custom field that he has created he can enter here and he can uh, enable that fields in that in, a, in this enable field section like once you have uh, entered this custom field here and clicked on save so here when you will go here like let me click on enable fields so when you will scroll down as you can see that a custom field of total sales is coming so from here you can enable that field and then you can edit in this product filter setting go to product filter setting and you can edit in bulk uh, bulk edit section like here let me click on this and let me click on bulk edit you can see that the custom field option is coming here and the total sales that was custom field so it is coming here so here you can click on this and here you can click on update so this is how you can add the custom fields and edit that particular fields for that uh, particular product or for all the uh, products that you are having on your WooCommerce store. Next one more thing uh, uh, global taxonomy filter. So here you can also uh, apply the filter based on global taxonomy like based on uh, like I'm color you can select 
or size so like if i am selecting like color and here i am selecting like blue and let me click on apply filter all the products will be uh, here all the products uh, like whatever the uh, products that we have selected based on uh, the color blue will be uh, will be mentioned here in this particular table so this is how you can use the global taxonomy filter to filter out the product next one more thing if you want to view that particular product like whatever the changes you have made like let me first click on reset filter and as you can see that i have changed this uh, product's name and if i want to see on the shop page that whether the changes have been made or not so i will click on this i button so as you can see that here it will be redirected to the shop page and as you can see that the wordpress payment name is coming here next if you want to go to the product edit section so you can click on this settings icon so you will be redirected to the product edit section so this was all about how to enable the fields and how to uh, filter out the product and bulk edit the product and how to enter the custom field uh, and enable that particular custom field to edit the field for the products so uh, this was all about the product bulk editor for woocommerce plugin if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionalities so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you if you are new to our channel make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and share the video until the next video stay connected with us thank you